Summer is here on the island and this is the first half of the season. Part 2 is coming in the next video as there was way more story and side quest progression than I had anticipated. We're continuing our search for the missing Miyako all while trying to figure out how to get Nico home. The night market is blossoming, but as a player I felt like this season in particular opened up some interesting questions for me thematically. What does it mean to encourage tourism in your home and tourists to come visit? It's something I know I've seen more advocating against, especially when considering sensitive island ecosystems and the community of people who actually live there and the impact that tourism has, but this game got me wondering if there is a way to encourage visitors and be a part of a broader economy and marketplace, but sustainably. I would love to know your thoughts. Either way, I am still enjoying my time with the game and very excited for you to join me on this next episode of the playthrough. It's the first fall. I cannot believe we've made it through an entire season. Let's see what this what this season has in store for us. It's been eventful already. Time. Oh, pff, fall. Oh my god. Do I know my seasons? <laughs> Dad has corrected me. Time to get up, Conehead. It's the first day of summer. You should be playing outside instead of sleeping all day. The first day of the season. <laughs> We're off like a herd of tur turtles, my friends. Why, why are we so hard today? The first day of the season brings in new varieties of flowers and fish to find. You should be out there exploring. All right, Dad. I've I've already fumbled over my words. Clearly, I have slept too much. Uh, again, we have our inventory. We have already three different craft upgrades. How does Maneko reach the top? And especially, why is why is the top currently one of the most dangerous tools? I don't know. Um, maybe this is a fancy rotating desk, and we just can't see the mechanisms. But either way, I think I'm gonna go ahead, get ready to go. Um, whoops. I don't want to look. I don't want to discard. I want to talk to my dad. Hey, kiddo, have you made me rich yet? <laughs> um. Alright. One of the things that I think is kind of an interesting juxtaposition between the- Oh! <gasps> sunflowers! Uh, interesting juxtapositions between the game and some of the cozy values of it is it is <laughs> dad kind of jokes about like how much money you're gonna make me it is an interesting question of pinning the revitalization of the community on this idea of like a kid having to really work and like own a small business i think that's an interesting thing to think about that being said i think the game is also like i'm trying to do some cute mechanics um, I understand why it's working through the way it does, but I'm curious if <laughs> little Maneko will ever feel burnout or where <laughs> will ever want to take a break from crafting. Because um, I think, again, we talked about the repetitive nature of the loop. I personally like it uh, for what it's worth, but I could see people finding it too repetitive and maybe not a fun way. Ooh, that must be the equivalent of the camellia. Azalea. That's cool. Um, but again, by and by, I think this is a pretty solid game so far. Again, I pretty much played all of spring in one day for me, and this is like my second day returning to the game, so I've also allowed it to marinate a little bit. So it's nice because I think with this playthrough, you're getting me not playing it all through in one sitting, but allowing it to of allowing me to mull over it a little bit. Uh, just because we've picked some flowers... Oh, where should I go? I'll go to... We found the gear in the docks. We found the gear... Oh gosh, I'm forgetting where we found our gears. I think we found it in the dark forest, so let's go to the birch forest. Because again, we have a couple of visitors here that we need to find things for to make them happy. Birch is just going to be nice because we can get more paper, which we'll need. I don't think this is a pick. Yeah. Aw, we haven't pet a cat yet. What am I doing? Uh, so one of the visitors wants, what you call it? Metal gears. One of the visitors wants paper for their flyers. 
One wants to feel zen, so I think I might be making them a little mini zen garden. And I can't remember if we met the next one. I think there's one more that we have not met. I do really like this. I like mini games. I love the fact that this mini game allows us to collect our resources. I haven't gotten tired of it. I don't know if we have enough paper. I think we needed 20. I think that that was at least 15. I think this might be our 20. Now I know we have a few recipes that wanted these flowers in particular, so I think we're going to be in a good spot there. Oh, oh, I did find the gear here because I remember I found it at this statue. Okay. So it must be in the wood forest that I have not gotten the gear. So I will return home. Again, we've got the three act day. Essentially, we've got day, evening, and night. Do any of you say anything different? No. Okay. Still saying the same stuff. Let me do a quick check of my quests. Okay, I did a check. Looks like maybe we are all set. So let me go, let me go bring the paper to, what was his name? Itaro, I think. <gasps> ah, can we just pet all these cats? Can we just take a moment? Okay, they're so, oh, that purr is so good. All right, any luck finding that paper? Itao, here you go. Now we're talking. In all honesty, I probably don't need this many. But better shaved and sorry when it comes to my future. So remember, we're helping him out because he's been unhappy with work. He's trying to figure out his future, and we're gonna try and convince him to move to our island. All right, just just give me one day, and I'll have these pamphlets printed up. Meet me back here tomorrow, and we'll figure out the rest. Oh gosh, am I gonna have to do some pamphlet work for you? Now I don't have any energy to pick anything up. I kind of had to make that call myself uh, but I do have some fish to sell so I think I'm gonna just do that to make a little money I'll have to remind myself oh there we go uh, I'll have to remind myself how much I need for the next craft bench can I sell a wind-up fish oh I can I think maybe any vendor can take any item. Now here's the thing. If I get curry, that will heal two of my hearts, I think. Will I earn $80 in fish? The shrimp, let's say we average $10 a, a, a cast, we could probably do, I think we'd probably break even if we only caught cheap fish. I think we'd probably catch a couple of expensive fish. Oh, with such limited stamina, it's kind of this, and, and the economy is, again, I joked about the inflation, but really things are pricey on the island, uh, which is legit. Again, that's kind of like real life. Um, so I'm trying to think if the cost of the curry outweighs or is beneficial uh, to fishing. You know what, Let's let's do it. Craving some curry. I I think I think I can fish my way to eighty dollars. Too tired of oh! <laughs> it would help if I ate it. Um, okay, here we go. Where did the curry go? Um, am I, are my eyes deceiving me? Crafted items. Oh, there we go. Food. Okay, let's do curry. Only one? I would have... In real life, that certainly would have taken up two hearts. Okay. Poof and tuna. That's good. I think those are around 20. Bottle, which is a recipe. Not unhappy about that. Oh, 
Red snapper. Okay, we're getting decent fish. Uh, I'm also trying to keep track of how many casts I can do on one heart. So actually, it may be... It, ooh, an octopus. That's new. Okay, so for anyone who is wondering, I think it may be, especially with fishing, be pretty cost-effective to pay the $80 for one heart and do some fishing. I think so far it's turned out to be a positive for me. Red snapper. And yeah, we got probably eight to ten casts. And a couple of... Too tired to fish. Cool. So we have enough to pick up... No, too tired to pick up a hairball. Oh. Alright, so let's sell some fish. We'll sell the squeezed for two dollars because we can't really do anything else with that. Um... The snapper, I'll sell all of those for 72. Oh, I finally noticed. Okay, so <laughs> I didn't notice this last time and I feel a little bit silly, but I have two hearts. That is the energy. You can only eat up to three times a day, it looks like. So you're limited in how much energy you're able to acquire back, which makes sense because if you're in some place like the dock and fishing, you could if you ate forever, fish forever, and really game the system. So I think that's them trying to figure out a way to, <laughs> to not allow that to happen. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, hmm. I don't know. I think I made a little bit of money. Not sure if it was totally worth it, but I guess by... Every little bit counts when you're scrounging and saving up. Okie dokie. So, we did our thing. We finished one leg of a quest. Night, Dad. Uh, let's see. What have we got that we could maybe craft? Ah, so we could make a dog bouquet. Now, here's the sad part. Uh, the cat bouquet, kokodama... Um, even beehive terrarium, unless some of these flowers are available in... Oh, dang. Unless some of these flowers are available in the garden still, we won't be able to create some of them. Interesting. Okay. Huh. I'm curious how that will play. Um, like, will the gardens hold true and be like, oh, this is where we always grow sakura blossoms or not? I have a feeling not, so we're going to have to probably shift our construction focus and our crafting focus. Now, I don't know how to get pretty paper either, so we're we're in a little bit of a sticky spot, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, let's open up these bottles, get a few new recipes. Perhaps we'll get some for the season that work. Um... Also, is Maneko standing funky? Is it because she's tired? Terracotta planter. Ooh, that's a good one. Why are you... It looks like you're in sneaky position. Oh, I accidentally toggled. That's why. <laughs> I was like, what's wrong? Maneko. Um, you learned the deluxe bouquet recipe. All right. So just a quick gander. What have we got? The deluxe bouquet. Wow. Yeah, I am very curious. We have a watering can, and we do have an area in the back, so I wonder if maybe we'll be able to grow things eventually. Uh, these are a lot of recipes. Ooh. Bug diorama, sakura journal. That's so cute. I would love to be able to make journals. Like, a dream of mine would be to have, like, a Geeks and Grounds journal. Oh, that would be so cool. Yay! Second. Game saved. So let's see what we can do. We've got trade-off happening. Uh, so we were in the birch forest, we were at the dock. Let's go to the dark forest and the caves today. I'm going to do a quick run around, see if I can find a metal gear. I, from the life of me, I should have maybe reviewed what I did yesterday. I cannot remember where I found the gears and where I didn't. I suspect I either have found them all or there's just one more and that must be in the mines 
because that's the only place that I haven't looked. All right, so looks like not here. So let's do some lumber chopping. I'll probably go to the mines next just to do a little bit more stone collecting because I have a feeling the card game is going to end up being a big seller for me, especially with the flowers not being fully available, at least with the bouquets that I am familiar with crafting. I think this may be... Oh, here we go. I was going to say I, I realized I didn't check up here. I think this is the final machine part. Also, we have a new <laughs> interesting villager to meet. Let's mention those new lots and see if they want to move. Oh, you scared me. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I don't know if I'll ever recover from this again. I love the zipper on the costume. It's so good. Oh, you're still here. Oh, well, what are you doing here? They should... They could... Being frightened by strangers of the woods. Oh, okay. Bye. Okay, bye. Thanks for scaring me. That was a really good talk. Well, wait, but... You didn't seem to want to talk. No, I'm being super sincere. That was a really good chat. I can't tell if you're being serious. So serious. I don't talk to many people, so I really enjoyed that conversation. Oh, I enjoyed it too. I don't talk to many people. I don't think anyone at my work likes me. Well, who do you work with? Just my dad. Oh no! Oh God, I'm so sorry. Oh no. I mean, I know he loves me and everything, but he doesn't trust me with anything. Everything I do is wrong. Even when I do things exactly the way he explains, it somehow becomes the wrong way to do it after I do it. Oh, I'm sorry it's been hard for you. Now, I'm sure he means well, yeah, but that's not very nice. Like, you want to validate what this person is sharing, especially because Koji's already said he doesn't like talking with people and um, is opening up. So, validate, for sure. Also, uh, let me know in the comments if you have had experiences where, maybe not parents, if they, maybe it's someone else, um, where it's like, maybe they they are a bit harder than on you than, than you would like them to be. Let me know. Uh, I definitely had that growing up, and I think growing up, especially with my mom being Korean, there's a lot of pressure in certain ways, especially academically, that she, that she put on me. Um, she didn't mean it to be stressful, but I remember as a kid feeling very stressed about it uh, a lot. So again, I'm sure he means well, sure. But it's good to hear sometimes like, I'm sorry, that's got to be hard. Well, I can handle it. That's kind of weird for you to worry about me. Sorry, I won't bother you anymore then. I mean, if you really need to bother me, I guess I can talk more. <laughs> I mean, I guess moving to the village might be kind of neat. <laughs> Twist my leg, you know? It's like, it doesn't seem like Koji needs too much persuasion. Right now I live at the docks with my dad and work at his fishing st Oh! Wait, are you really- Oh! Talk? Is it tack? Talk? I'm sort of his apprentice right now, learning how to wash knives. After they're cleaned, I get to wash them again. And just to be sure, I get to wash them another time. Oh, and if there's any time left, you know what I do? Uh, I'm guessing you watch the knives again? What? No. I have to do the towels. <laughs> I thought my love of fishing would transfer over into a love of working at a fishing sand. But, turns out that fishing and washing knives are very different activities. Oh, that's real. Just because you love something doesn't mean you want to work in that industry. It's very real talk. I think a lot of the, I work in games, um, and I do love games, and I love working in games, but I have talked with many a friend, many a peer, who loves video games, got into the industry, realized it was no fun uh, working on video games. They just loved the medium, and they decided it wasn't for them, and I think that's really important to know when you love a thing and maybe to keep it separate from what you do for work. It's, it's a big lesson. I feel like I'm ready to start my own stand. A place where people from all over could come and enjoy the same thing I do. Oh, so maybe you do want to work in fishing? Maybe I misunderstood. Maybe it's just you don't want to work under your dad, uh, doing not fishing things. Well, then why don't you start one? My dad thinks I'm not ready. It's hard to explain, but I just can't do it without his blessing. 
I wish there was a way he would listen to when I tell him that I have been learning from him. I wish he'd learn that I do listen. I remember everything he's taught me. You ever see that dude chomping all day down at the docks? That's Tack, my dad. Real good friends with Fisherman Fred over from the next booth. I've heard their childhood con stories constantly. They both grew up in the hardworking town of Kiku Village. I've never been, but apparently they have the best custard in the country. But I've always felt like he resented the fact I was born. But I always felt like he resented the fact I was born in the more affluent Ube Village while my parents stayed there one night for work. Oh, that sounds silly when I say it out loud, but how else would you explain why he named his first business after our cat and not me? Smokey's Fish Hut. Oh. But when he opened up his new stand here at Mount Fugu, did he name his current business after me? Nope. We named it after the bird we had. The bird we had for 12 days. Muffy's Fish Shack. And I know it's just a name, but it still sucks, you know? I mean, the family businesses have been through a lot over the years, but I've fought through it right there with them. The seaweed shortage of yesteryear, the great crow infestation of different times, even through last sum even through last summer's tofu market crash. <laughs> tofu market crash? No! I don't know. I'm not sure he'll ever understand how much I've been listening. Three years, all I did was listen. And wash knives. <laughs> and I <laughs> wash and wash knives. And I really feel like I'm ready to move on, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. If you ever happen to talk my dad down at the docks, you'll you'll see what I mean. Nothing will ever convince him that I've been learning from him this whole time. Oh, well, I've been talking for like a billion years. Sorry about that. Oh, it's really not a problem. I asked. Cool. Well, I should let you go do whatever it is you were doing. Got to talk now. Hey, you let me know if you end up talking to my dad at the docks, would you? Oh, dang. Okay, well, I do want to talk to your dad at the docks. I'm going to the mines today, but I'll be doing that next time. Now we're at the mines. I think we can finish out this quest. Oh, still looking. Wait, do we need... How many do we have? We have four. I thought I was supposed to find four. Four more? Five total? Okay, well then let's go into the mines really fast. Let's go further in, go deep. See if we can find a cog? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I ran through the mines and I did not see any sparkly cogs. So I'm thinking I've missed one somewhere. Trying to think where I could go otherwise. Or I wonder if the game hasn't opened up another location that I need to go to to find it. So we'll see. I think the next step is probably to get that craft bench and I think we'll be able to see if, <laughs> if either I've missed something completely. Oh gosh, am I lost? No, I'm not. Uh, or or, because I'm in the mine. Uh, or... I, uh... Just haven't unlocked the space to go to where it's available. Cat pet break. It's a cat pet break. Gotta take a little time to pet these cats. Cute. Again, because we we kind of fell out of it, you know. And I, I think just to progress with the game, it's important to to keep it moving, but also it's important to to pet the cats. Um. Okay. So yeah, we can't. We have one more that we need to find. We'll see. But in the meantime, there is one thing I'd like to investigate, and that is the museum. I purchased some food at the night market, and. I don't know if it was a bug or if there is just specific food that I need to purchase at the night market that are supposed to be donated and others that, oh, gosh darn it, I forget, things are closed. Um, but yeah, that's something I should check tomorrow. Whether or not specific foods or if any night market food can be added to the museum. Because I feel like I bought two different things and if neither of them work, then maybe there's just a vendor that hasn't come into town yet. 
Ooh, okay, so I guess we'll just craft some card games just to finish out the day. And then we'll we'll continue on in the fall. Ooh, okay, so I realized I can make a small fishing pond. That's cute. Don't know what I'll do there, but <laughs> uh, where I'll use it, if I can sell it or what, but I think that's kind of cool. Also, I love how... Ooh, balls. That wasn't perfect. Ugh. I love how uh, cutting these flowers made a small fishing pond. Alright, All right, let's go to sleep. Uh, I think, especially for the sake of the video, I'll probably just cut forward a little bit since I imagine the rest of these days are gonna be, unless I have some cool things... Ooh, summer rains. The rest of these days are gonna be a lot of just gathering and foraging. I'm honestly torn sometimes when choosing whether or not to keep things in, partially because I feel like some people really love it, some people enjoy these mundane moments. I do. And some people are like, oh, just get to the action in the Let's Play, you know, just get to the, to the, oh, here we go. Perfect. Oh, no, shoot, I didn't want to donate the gum. Balls. Well, there's action for you, Speedy, and it caused, oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I, I was going to do the gum for my friend. That's okay, I'll purchase another one for him. But yeah, it's just something I'm curious if you have a, an opinion on it, I'd love to hear it. I tend towards trying to keep as much as possible, partially because, I don't know, I know I watch th these videos mostly when I'm working, um, like Let's Plays in general, and I personally don't mind when they're a little bit longer and when they have some quieter moments because I'm usually dividing my attention or doing a craft or doing something else. But I'd love to hear what you all have to say if you have strong opinions on it. Or even if you don't, actually. Uh, I'm gonna sell the fish toys. They didn't sell at the market. I'll have other more profitable things. Um... Ooh. Let's sell all the card games because this is gonna allow us to get this crafting. Sewing craft bench. Ooh, yes, that's right. I forgot about our primary quest uh, to create a plush Nico to distract the agents so we can try and uh, get them out of town. Good idea. Instead of getting into trouble looking for Nico out in the wild, why not make him at home, right? You learn to make the plush Nico for the sewing craft bench. Anywho, stay safe there, Maneko chan. Maneko? Maneko chan. Thanks, Bobo's mom. All right, Bobo's mom, you've done me a solid. Bobo mom, Bobo's mom is so good. Hey, Minners. Minners? Oh, you brought the sewing craft bench. Well, good thing we've been freeing cats around the island. You're gonna need all the hairballs you can get to make the stuff on that thing. If you need any more hairballs, there's a cat farm out east that used to have a ton of them. Cat farm? Like a place where you farm cats? What? No, of course not. It's like a place where cats that are too little, hurt, or old need to be need to be taken care of in junk. Oh, like a sanctuary? Yeah, that's what I said. I used to go and help out there when I was little. Cute. Anyway, I'll mark it on the bus stop map if you ever want to check it out. Peace outies. Oh, I love that. All right, let's see. I'm gonna. I have my. I have my little my game notebook here. I'm gonna be taking some quick notes because. I realized uh, there isn't a way to keep good track of what folks really want, uh, and so I'm going to be writing it down because I have the worst memory. Um, beef. I know someone wanted gum. I think boy, and now I can make the boy band pillow. Uh, Hannah? And I think you were the one who wanted the snail, right? Yeah. Which, hold on. I have a boximal box that I haven't opened yet. Let's open it and see. Will we get lucky on the first one? <gasps> Dang it, rabbit boximal. Not what we want. Not what we want.
So many agents. Golly. And what did you wanted? Oh, the kid, this kid wanted the yokai pencil pouch. Um, I'm gonna do a quick, quick run around just to get everyone else's orders, essentially. Two lanterns for Granny Fanny. <laughs> A cute cat purse for Bobo's sister. Black ramen. I still haven't seen any black ramen. Cat purse. Black ramen. Bobo's just on the case with me. A flying Tingu mailbox. All right. Sakura gelatins. I think the terracotta planter, right? Yes, five of them. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's impressive. Oh, hold on. And I think I have an octopus I can drop in here as well. And a jellyfish. Oh my goodness, I have a lot. This is exciting. I cannot wait to finally get our first visitors to the island. Again, I think there's some sort of, um, there's a little bit of what feels like this disconnect between this idea of like a kid just kind of diving into capitalism um, and tourism to bring folks in, but at the same time, it's important to understand like maybe that I, I think there's a way that maybe tourism, when brought in by and invited by folks of the place, maybe could be done sustainably. I don't know. Actually, it's a question I'll pose to you because um, I'm really just thinking out loud, like. There are places that I know do not want people to come and to be tourists. I think Hawaii is a great example of that. Uh, where Blue Pintona, okay, it's already donated. So you have places that are known for tourism who have been destroyed by the tourist industry. Definitely not a good situation. But if there are locations that seek to invite people, is there a way to do so sustain sustainably? New location. Okay, so will we will we have to will we have to rescue cats here? Uh, will we get the corn outfit? It's corn. Uh, oh my god, cat farm. Yeah, that's a that's something actually. I I think I need to ponder more. Again, I'm thinking out loud. My let's plays are often an opportunity for me to experience a game for the first time, so it's all very fresh, and. Oftentimes I'll revisit games or, especially in my reviews, hone in on the elements that I really wanted to delve into further. Um, that maybe, maybe that'll be one for this one. Howdy there, little human. What brings you to these parts? Uh, what is this place? This here? Well, this here's the farm. Back in the olden times, we used to grow resources for the virgin and textile industry on the mainland. In fact, this island here was Full as far as the eye could see with farms devoted to producing the finest ma materials for the finest garments the world around. Yep, we were doing quite well for ourselves out here. All up until the great crow infestation of different times anyway. This is the second time we've heard about it. Must have been a pretty wild incident. Yep. <laughs> Them crows wrecked a mighty good havoc on all crops here. Essentially taking down the whole farming industry we had built up. Cats were brought in from the mainland to curb the crow population here, and they did a good job ridden of, ridden us of them pests. Sadly, the damage had already been done. These lands would no longer produce fabric exports like it used to. We've been able to salvage what we had. Oh, because I think, wasn't it the um, Nico in the legend as the family were growing crops, I think it was, it looked like maybe it was cotton. So maybe that was the textile industry they were talking about or that uh, farmer Kenji is referring to. We've never been able to salvage what we had and have converted some of the farms into produce farms, but it's never been the same here since. You see that scare Nico out there? <laughs> scare Nico. <gasps> yeah, scare Nico, like a scarecrow, but with a figure of Nico to keep them crows away. If he still scares crows, isn't he technically still a scarecrow? He's not scaring Nikos. We put up our scared Nico every year to keep them crows at bay. Not like we have too many crops to protect these days. Something's got to protect them kitties, wouldn't you say? I would say that. Speaking of which, you must be wondering what all these cats are doing here. 
I mean, I assumed this was a cat sanctuary. This location mainly serves as the island's cat farm these days. Cat farm? Well, it's much less the farm and more like a place where we take care of some older cats, wee cats, sick cats, all them cats. Like, a sanctuary? Yeah, that's what I said. With all the problems those agents are causing around here for these critters, we need this place more than ever. <gasps> the agents are trapping cats, making life horrible. Again, we didn't like the agents in the first place, but we know they're going for cats. Mm-mm, no go. I even saw some be caged for who knows what. Me and my son could hardly keep up these days. Ain't that right, kid? Huh? Oh, yeah. If you're ever looking for something to do out here, you're always welcome to help out here on the cat farm. Let me know if you're interested in helping us pick up some hairballs. Okay, well, what do, what do you got to say, kid? Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm the corn kid. <laughs> corn kid? What happens when you grow up? Then I'll be corn man. If I kid of my own, I'll be corn dad. That's quite a legacy. Yeah. For now, I help out on the farm, learning the ins and outs of corn. Surrounding myself in all things corn. That explains the costume. In order, to, in order to understand the corn, we must be one with the corn. I am the corn. Be the corn. Well, good luck with that. Children of the corn for real. But also, I want the outfit. Can I pick corn? Nope. Ooh, I like the little rustling of the corn. Okay, so if I'm here, I might as well. I took up the time to visit. Um, we normally charge 50, but we'll let you off the hook as one time. $50? Okay, thank you. You can keep all the hairballs so you can't lose. Oh, it's a competition. 60 seconds? <gasps> what the heck? Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Okay, what? Oh, God. Jeez, I don't even know what I'm collecting for. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I don't know if I need a specific color. I probably do. I'm glad I came here with full energy. That would have been such a waste. I wonder if I brought food, if the timer pauses when I stop to eat. Whoa! The cats are around tempting me to pet them, but no, I have a timer. I can't do it. I can't stop picking up hairballs. Fun fact, you can do uh, felting, <gasps> excuse me, with, I'm too tired to pick it. Okay, well, actually, no, I don't want to eat. <laughs> I don't want to eat right now. We'll just pet cats. Uh, but you can do felting with cat hair. I think with most any fur, um, you do have to probably process it. But I remember there was a book I read in the library when I was a kid. <laughs> Uh, that was like, how to make crafts with your cat's fur. And it was like, you, when you brush your cat, you're supposed to collect the fur. And then needle felting is basically, you have this n needle with like a little hook on it. And when you poke the fur, it allows the f it to like basically create small tangles that solidify it in kind of a way. Um, yeah. I've never actually done it with cat fur. I've done it with yarn and like just other stuff I bought at the craft store. Um, but I remember reading the book and thinking, hmm, I really wanted to go for it. I guess I could try. Alrighty, so we have the cat farm. I have not seen a gear here. Well, actually, let me do one more perusal just to make sure. Because I don't think I saw a gear, but... I don't know. I'm afraid of missing it in some really obvious spot. Okay, no gear here. So we'll head back. Uh, I'll check out the sewing machine and then we'll figure out, I'll figure out what crafts uh, supplies I need to collect in the next run. Oh, can I interest you in one of my curious wares? Wares? If I'm correct in my assumption, you must have come here from the farm. Sure. Well then, surely you would have an interest in one of my special garden packets. Special garden packet? Yes, plant the contents of one of these special garden packets, and who knows what mysteries or treasures or fortunes will grow right before your eyes. So you're selling magic beans. 
Oh, no, no, none of that fairy tale nonsense. These aren't just any old magic beans. No, these are. They're, uh, they're, they're magic toe beans. <laughs> so magic beans. Listen, kid, you want them or not? Magic Toby, I only have $235. Magic Toe Beans? That sounds like a cat to me. Yes, let's buy it. Come find me around the island if you ever want to buy more beans, or if you find yourself interested in some of my other curious wares. Wait, what am I supposed to do with these? That, my friend, sounds like a you problem. <laughs> wow. Oh. Were you supposed to disappear? Oh no. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if Nico would know what to do with these. Am I gonna grow cats? Is this is this reality? Alright, let's see. I think Nico is still hanging out in the backyard. And it's a very wet day, so we don't have to worry about watering them, right? Nico, look what I got. The person I bought it from said they were magic beans. Er, magic toe beans. Huh? <gasps> Is Nico gonna help me garden? Is that a garden plot? Can we plant something here? Oh, I think we're gonna plant the beans. Plant one magic toe beans. <laughs> Looks like the rain watered the plot for me today. See if that does anything. All right, Nico, thank you for watching over our plants. I have a feeling, whoops, got too eager and ran, ran right through house. Uh, I think we're gonna be growing some cats. Hank the Honk tote bag, flower apron, a tent. Ooh, and a plush Nico. So we need some red snapper, stat. I'm curious, I'm curious what we'll, what we'll do with the tent. Trace the white line, oh no. <laughs> Starting from the green dot to the red dot to, dot to sew around your fabric. Oh God, I'm so bad at these. I'm so happy. It is not timed. Oh, this is like that Mario Party game or Kirby. Did y'all play that? Uh, Kirby 64, I think, was the one with the mini game that you had to, like, trace the line. Oh, I was abysmal at it. All right, just for funsies, let's make the tent. Uh, that way, I'm sure someone will request it. Oh, my God. And that way, we'll have it when, when it's time. By far, I think this is my favorite mini game. I like them all, but I like that this actually makes me feel like I'm really crafting. I think Power Saw comes second. Oh, what? That wasn't perfection? I feel like that was pretty dang perfect. Can I make anything else? Nope. All right, well now I'm gonna have to collect all the hairballs. Okay, since I'm here, any other crafts? No, no, no. So we still have time though. And what I'm gonna do is head to the docks because that will not only go through, what you call it, uh, that one businessman's request, but we can also continue with the quest of the son and father relationship. I'm glad that we have these uh, villagers that we're hoping to bring in. I feel like while there is a relationship heart meter with the other villagers, like the other kids, uh, it's not a relationship meter. It is a, did I get you the thing you wanted meter? And so I feel like there isn't, again, I didn't anticipate this social sim aspect being super heavy, but I think that is something to keep in mind because I think people may assume certain things when they come in and play. Like, oh, I'll get to bond with the villagers and I'll have different things to say to me. It's not quite how it works. It more serves the mechanic of the shop, I think. Okay. I have just returned with the Octopool pamphlet. 12, okay. You know, if you have nothing else to do, why don't you deliver an octopus pamphlet to 12 different people around this island? That should do the trick to get the word out about my new night market game. All right, 12 different people? Dang, I'll have to do that tomorrow, unless cats count. Do cats count? Now, will I be able to? Aw, uh, yeah, I will. I was talking to your son. My son does not talk. 
He also does not listen. That is kids, right? No! Talk the taco man, no! Oh. He's my boy, but he just, uh, he just cannot pay attention. Um, I think he has been listening. Everything I say goes into one of his ears, and then from his other ear, the words I was just saying to him, it all comes out from that ear. I think he does not even know the name of my fishing booth he works at. Oh, he said he works at Muffy's Fish Shack. I was being a silly person. Of course he knows where he works. He's a good boy, but he just does not listen. Maybe too lazy. Where I come from, we are very industrious people. Uh, that was Ume Village, right? Well, of course not. He's been here a while, I guess. Wait, was it not? Maybe one or two years, even. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh, I should have listened. I should have listened. I'm trying to remember. He said he's been here four years? I don't know. What? That's not even close. <laughs> We've been through a lot in the time he's been here. Even the great crow infestation, yes. That's right, I nearly forgot about that. Perhaps I've been too hard on the boy. You know what? I should change the name of my fishing stand to his name. What do you think? Koji's Fish Shack Shound Great. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Anyway, I don't know who you were talking to. I'll get back to work now. Bye. Okay, we can try talking again tomorrow. So perhaps I have to get all the things right. Ooh. I will give you the Octo Pamphlet. Okay, so it has to be a person standing out. It can't be a person behind the shop. Gotcha. Alright, so we have another quest. We've got to give those pamphlets away. Pamphlets. Gear. And what was the other thing? That was probably the main stuff. Oh, the Zen, but I don't really know what to do with the Zen person yet. Unless maybe they want a tent? Maybe? We'll see about it tomorrow. Oh my gosh, Nico's working his magic on the magic toe beans. Oh. oh my god. I cannot wait. Onward and forward. So we're heading into, what is it, selling time? I think the next big focus, oh, no, 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 no. Home. Uh, let's give out all of the pamphlets and then what we're gonna do is also go back to the dock and fish because Red Snapper is what's gonna get us moving forward in the story quest. But first I'll give out all of the pamphlets to folks, especially these kids because they're always talking about how they want games. Not gonna <laughs> ignore the agents, they are not invited. I'm sorry, you cannot just set up camp uh, and invade the village against the will of the people and expect to be invited to our wonderful market. Nope. Okay, let's see who else could I give this to? Here we go. I think we have two more, and I think these are the last ones. Yay. Okay. So now we can go to the dock. Oh, hello. Oh, it's you again. Uh, what? Oh, a boy's t-shirt. Oh, okay. So what we may be able to do is get a boy's pillow from the Ruby, from Ruby, the seller. Uh, once... Once we have more money, because I think uh, <laughs> this this market is going to be interesting. I, I don't know if we'll be able to beat our old record, but I do know we'll be able to level up, which is which will be nice. Any luck delivering the Octopool pamphlet? They've all been delivered. What? They have? That should do it. People should be lining up around the market to play my Octopool. Come check it out at the next night market. Oh. And here's a little something for your troubles. You learn the fa frog bog recipe for the flower craft bench and the cat purse recipe 
and two box mobile. Oh my gosh, this was a good quest. You know what? The commute from the mainland is going to be heck on my profit margins. I think I may just take you up on that offer to move into the village if there are still slots available. All right, I think we did it. Now, let's pick up some red snapper, hopefully, uh, and also talk to ta Taco. Uh, let's do a speed round through and let's hope we got it. Okay, here we go. I got one wrong. He told you all of those things? Oh. Yay! Okay, I got one wrong. I changed the... But I did change my other answer from Ume Village to Ki... Ki... Kiko? Kike? Kike Village, I think it was. Koji, my boy. You are here. Oh, sorry I'm late for work. I was doing some thinking. You are not late. You do not even work here. What? Are you firing for firing me for being late? No, no. What I mean is I don't want you here. Oh. O okay. Oh, what I don't mean it that way. What I mean is I... I mean to say... You think he's ready to start his own business? That is what I said. Koji, I was about your age when my father pulled me into his taco chopping business. That's all I've ever known. Did, did you ever want to do something else? No. This is all I have known. This is all I ever wanted to know. But maybe this is not the life for everybody. Oh, that's, that's what I've been trying to say. But maybe it's sometimes it is me that also needs to listen. So tell me about this store you want to open. Well, working at the docks might have been the life for you. You chose for yourself and I respect that, but this is not the life for me. I always had this idea for a new fishing booth at the night market. A booth stocked with rare and hard to catch fish. A place where people from all over could come and enjoy the fine art and challenge of fishing. Huh, you always loved fishing. Oh, I guess, okay, so I, I didn't, I confused Taco's, uh, Taco Man's shop for a fishing shop. So that's what it is. Koji wants to fish, not chop. Ta taco. <laughs> yeah. Well, what are you waiting for? Go start it. And you're okay with it? It is your life. But if it doesn't work, then I... Can come work here again until we figure out the next thing you want to do. Cool. Oh. Well, that settles it. I'm going to start my night market fishing booth. Looks like I'll need 120 wood to build it. Right in this channel. All right, I'll take a note there. Hey, 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 Maneko, do you happen to have uh, 120 wood laying around in your backpack? My boy, why are you asking a kid to fetch you materials? Well, I, I just thought the sending the local aired kid on missions was how people acquired stuff on this island. <laughs> I appreciate this, this acknowledgement of <laughs> this meta that is now happening. Bobo isn't the only one. I'll help you get started. Ask me for help. Thanks, Dad. You will always have a 10% off discount at my booth. For the first two weeks. That is my boy. <laughs> hey, thanks for talking to my dad. I think I'm going to try moving to the village and see if I can make this thing happen. I'm super pumped about this. You seem very pumped. So pumped. Oh, by the way, I better start getting rid of things I no longer need. You can have these. <gasps> The raccoon bed bowl recipe, and the boys bracelet recipe, and kitten candy. I think we're doing pretty dang good. We're gonna have a big expansion next time. Now, we're gonna do a little fishing. Keep fingers crossed for red snapper, y'all. And I'm feeling pretty good. We're, we are not even done with the first week of fall, and we have made pretty hefty progress. Fishing wasn't as fruitful as I was hoping. We only got two red snappers, but that's okay. Uh, I wanted to save a little bit of energy to go and get some more lumber. And also let me check. I wanted to check the actual craft materials for each Nico, because I think we need to make four, <laughs> which is a hefty amount plush Nico. So, okay, we need a lot of white fur one red snapper so we need at least 
two more red snappers and lots of white fur. Okay. Oof, just got the chills up and down my spine. Since I haven't been to the gardens in a minute, uh, and I know that there's free cat fur here, I decided to show up here instead. Uh, I'll be collecting white hairballs and then seeing if I can talk to my friend, see what may cause, cause her to feel at peace in the gardens. Um, again, I don't know if there's something like a fishing pond or a small zen garden that she wants, but we'll have to figure that out because I think that's the one villager that I don't know what she's looking for. And now that I know I'm... Oh, there's the... Oh my gosh, did I not come here for the gear? Well, okay, we found all the machine parts. That's great. Um, yeah, now that I have the machine part... Oh, this is a gray hairball. I'll pet you. Pet you, my little buddy. Um, now that we've got the machine parts, we can go complete that quest. Oh, I keep looking at the... the, the they're not daffodils. Um... Whatever the fuzzy plants that have the dandelions, is that what it is? Ooh. Keep looking at those and thinking, oh, is that, is that a white cat hairball? Nope. It's got to be peace around here somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to figure that out. I'm not quite sure what, what we need for that. I have a tent in my inventory, so she doesn't want a tent for peace and quiet, that's for sure. Um, and I'm nervous because I don't think I can make a zen garden because I think we need some spring flowers, so yeah, well, I'll have to have a think about that. I'm hope I'm hoping it's not something super obvious. Right. So... I'll wait until we have all four snappers. I think we still need two, remember, to make the Nikos that we need. Uh, but I'll wait till we have all four just so that I can make them all at once. We have just a couple days until the market. Let me see what I've got. I have a Hank tote. Let me open up the blind box. Ooh, a Koi boximal, that's cute. Whoops. I get the two menus confused quite a bit, as you all have seen. <laughs> Gold cat. That seems cool. Uh, I wish we could do something with the boximals. Like, I don't know if I should save it because he'll request other boximals in the future. Hmm. Maybe I will save them instead of selling them. Treehouse. That's cool. Dang. Uh, we have two snappers. We'll save... I'll have to go to the cave for the cogs. Uh, but it looks like... Hmm. We don't have a ton to sell. We have three fans. I mean, I guess I could sell the boximals. Three fans, an origami, the boximals if I wanted to. The wind-up toy. <sighs> I'm gonna have to get some, get some more supplies. Gotta think about profit this week. Look at me, little capitalist. <laughs> um, ooh, let me see if I can drop off the ca kitten, kitten cotton candy. So I think that actually, actually, maybe a museum contribution that we could add. Yep. Beautiful. Sixteen more. That's a lot. I feel like the the food museum may be the hardest one for me to open because it just costs so much. But I imagine the fish and some of the others are maybe more season seasonally gated. All right, we'll stop at the dock first, only because I want to get guarantee I got the snapper for the Nikos. So we're gonna do a little fishing. I'll let you know when that's done, just to speed it through a little bit. And um, we'll see, we'll see if I can at least achieve that goal of two. Whoops. 
see, Bunny? What was that? That was so cute! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Took a break from my normal fishing days to shout about the sea bunny. We have still not caught a red snapper, though. This has been a very unfortunate fishing run so far. <gasps> there we go! I spoke it into existence. I am too tired to fish, and I only caught one red snapper that entire time. A little bit disappointed. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna feed myself though, because I'm not too stressed about uh, immediately getting the next one. I think we're okay if we still get one tomorrow. With my goals, uh, I did want to though go and continue with the next step in my scientist side quest that was my big goal for today two red snapper continue the side quest unfortunately we didn't hit the red snapper goal but i think we still have hopes for this side quest uh oh were you able to find any more of those machine parts here you go these these are all the missing parts uh, i sure had hope it wasn't too arduous of an ordeal to find these uh it was easy <laughs> That's the spirit. I wish I had something I could give you for all your help. It isn't much, but you can have everything I found in the cave while I was searching for my machine parts. Ooh, the pug necklace recipe, cat earrings, and veggie juice. Heck yes. The Degarbifier, Degarbajifier, should be up and running at the next market, and I hope to see you there. It can upcycle garbage and revert them back into raw ingredients. Ooh, that would be so cool. I wish I didn't sell my failed project now. Bring any failed garbage craft items to me at the night market, and I can show you what this thing can do. All right, so again, we are adding booth after booth after booth to the night market. With all the agents around here, I wasn't so sure about this island, but seeing such helpful folks like you, it really makes me want to call the village my home someday. Okay, well, I mean, you could. There's, there's still an empty house plot left. Uh, so we'll go to bed. Tomorrow is another day. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that we can get another red snapper because that is the key to us progressing into this next week so that we can make the Nico. Oh, wait, hold on. I totally forgot. I need to probably water this little, little sprout. <laughs> uh, bye, Nico. But yes. We're almost to the first festival. I want to keep my winning streak strong with the Saturday markets. And um, I think, again, I, I don't think we'll be able to make profit uh, as well as we did last time. I feel a bit more prepared in that respect in the last festival versus this one. Uh, but I do think we'll be able to progress the story, which is what I really wanted to focus on. Um, let's see, we'll go with a dock, because again, red snapper is the goal. Red snapper. <sighs> we got this. I believe in us, everybody. We can make this happen. We just need one. I'm happy to say that we did get two red snappers. Uh, we just hit about one heart down, so I thought maybe it would be good to take a break and give myself the opportunity to also pick up some hairballs especially the white white fur hairballs, but really any kind, and also pick some flowers. Um, I'm feeling really nice though. I think we're gonna be able to really get across. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, it's you. I live here now. Isn't that neato? So neato. Yeah. Not that I mind camping out in a tent, but it's gonna be even more neato or when I have a house, I bet. We'd be willing to part with 25 woods, that'd really help. Okay, I don't have that. Yes, this looks like the perfect place to set up a new homestead. Who knows what my next great invention will be. All right, a lab, lots of wood. Okay, y'all are requesting a lot here. Uh, so here I am to begin my new adventure here on Mount Fugu. In all honesty, I thought there would be houses here. Alas, I suppose one should be grateful for one, what one has. But if one were to complain about their living situation, I suppose they could simply resolve their issue by building a new domicile more suitable for habitation. On an unrelated topic, if you happen to have a spare 25 wood to trade, give me a holler, and I'll make it worth your while. 
All right, so I know now uh, going and collecting a bunch of wood. Not nearly, not quite 125, but gosh darn it, between all of them coming in, yeah, we'll get up there. Again, I have red snapper. So I don't need any for my crafting, but I suppose it'd be worthwhile to get a head start on that lumber, since now I know that is what everyone really, really wants. I got a few new recipes so that I can better craft. Like, I don't have the boy band pillow. Um, actually, I don't have the lanterns. I don't have the wagyu beef. But I think I had a few other recipes that I could maybe work towards. But first, we'll cut some lumber. And then we will get to crafting, because tomorrow is night market day, and I'm so excited. That's really, that's really what I love most about this game, is hearkening to every Saturday with joy in my heart, a skip in my step, and uh, seeing what, what is out there for us in the night market. We're almost to bed, but because we have all of the supplies needed for, whoops, not the frog bog. I think the little zen garden would be the thing that I would need for that one person who wants peace, but I, I digress. Uh, sewing, plush Nico. So I think we have, I hope we have enough hairballs. We definitely do have enough snapper though. Oh, we only have 14. 24, I think we'll need 24. <gasps> Okay, so we're gonna have to get a lot more hairballs. We won't be crafting Nikos tonight, friends. <laughs> Later, that is a future us task. Saturday, don't forget about the night market tonight. Okay. I'm going to see the cat farm, the, the cost of $50. That is so much money to basically just like get a slightly higher number of cat hairballs i don't know it just it just doesn't seem like a great deal but at the same time i'm not really saving my money so maybe how much money do i have where's my income <laughs> where's my funds 35 dollars. oh i don't even have enough to go to that let's Let's sell some stuff, let's pay the $50, and just see what availability there is. Now that I have a goal. Mm, let's sell... Tuna? We'll sell one, that's more than enough to get us over the threshold. Yeah, I'm really hoping... I, I, I don't know, last time I collected, what, 20-some fur balls? And I just collected them willy-nilly, so I don't know, I don't know. But I think this may be the fastest way for me to get the color that I need. I hope it works. 60 seconds. <sighs> We're gonna try to focus. I mean, at this point, there's so few, maybe I should just get all of them. I don't know! I guess if I can't see a white one in my sights, I should go for any other color, because then that way at least I'm... going for something. Oh, there's another one. Uh... Okay, this probably actually is the way to go about it if I need a specific color. I have to have gotten at least 10, probably. Twenty. Okay. Now I think I've collected all of the white ones, so now I'm just getting any color that I can. Got orange. We've got black. We've got black. We've got gray. I don't think I picked up very many gray. Ah. Okay. How many did I get? About 21. And let's see. Now we're at 32. Okay, that definitely 
was the way to go. Uh, my skepticism has been removed. We can say that if you need fur balls, definitely go to the cat farm. Just know what color you need in advance. It's, I still think it's as expensive as all get out. $50, my goodness. But at least we can progress in the story now. We're going to be doing a little bit of crafting for Nico. We're also going to be doing a little bit of crafting for the night market. So let me squeeze some fish and we'll, we'll get it going. I do wish uh, there was a little bit of quality of life in terms of being, again, being able to do things in multiples is always helpful in these kind of crafting sim kind of games. And this is, I mean, we do so, this is a game about crafting. Uh, being able to do things in groups and batches, particularly like squeezing. Like I could have four fish in my arms and squeeze them all at once. Uh, I bet Maneko could too. Um, all right, craft one plush Neko. Now I don't think this has to be perfect. I think we just have to craft them to distract the agents. Yeah, I made a plush Neko. We've got or Nico, <laughs> Nico the Neko. We need three more. Okay, that's doing all right. That was a really good first line, though. I don't think I've had had a stitch that perfect. Oh, knock knock. Oh, this is the uh, the agency. It's just a routine inspection. No need to panic. Uh, inspection? Do you have a right to do this? Sir, we don't have the luxury of time. You've heard that a child has gone missing, right? Pull up. Please make it quick. Oh no, they're gonna find Nico in the back shed for sure. It's time to use these plush Nikos as decoys. Okay. Are we... I need to find somewhere to hide Nico in here. In here? In here? In the bed? I got it! Nico, come hide in here! I mean, as... I do have a giant... <laughs> I do have a giant plush hippo that I love, and so um, when, and when I was little, it's like definitely, maybe not as big as Nico, but I think pretty dang close to the size, you know? Stay real still, okay, Nico? And Nico, you're still breathing. Stop. <laughs> Hold your breath. This is just a routine inspection. Nothing to worry about. I'm going to explore the backyard. You search here. Aye, aye. He's got to be here somewhere. He? Aren't you looking for Miyako? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that's what I said. Don't you worry, we're going to find that poor, poor little kid. It was some kid, right? That's enough out of you, you bonehead. Just get to searching. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is definitely illegal. If anyone wants to search your house, don't even open the door. Don't let them in. Okay. Huh? <laughs> don't you kids make your beds these days? What a mess. Please don't judge the way I live. Nothing out here. Nothing in here either. Let's roll out. There's nothing here in the village. Rolling. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Nothing to see here. Jeez, that was close. You were so brave there, Nico. The coast should be clear now, but you should hide out in the tool shed in the backyard until we figure out how to get you home, okay? Okay. Oh, that was a close one. All right, well, we don't have enough paper to get anything. Oops, wrong one. We don't have enough paper to get anything else done. We could make the cat purse, which we know actually a friend of ours wants. So I'm going to make that right now just because... We can. Yeah, that's a good one. That felt good. So I can cat purse. That's Bobo's sister, I think. And anything else? Planter box? No. Treehouse is cool. I like the little teasers of additional items we'll be able to find in other locations. Small fishing pond? No, I don't want to do that. 
Okay, well, I think we're ready. We probably won't have the most eventful market, but I think it'll be eventful in terms of the upgrades we'll see, even though our sales probably won't be that strong. Oh, Dad. Dad, Dad just wants me to take care of him when he's old. Which again, as I mentioned last time, I can relate. <laughs> Uh, and it's not a bad thing. I think it's good to to have that. Alright, we've got some more food. A new booth has arrived! The fishing... what was that? I think that was the game booth. And we have our de garbage fire. And maybe the fishing booth? Yes, a new booth has arrived. <gasps> nice. So we have more fun events that we'll be able to do while we are at the market. Welcome, welcome to the first night market of summer. This week's night market main event is the Summer Cat Race. I am so ready. I believe I am also ready, but I refuse to make promises on my body's readiness. Make sure to stop by this stage before the end of the night to catch the cat spring cat race. Cats, 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 cats! <laughs> now go, shop, eat, play, enjoy. Anyone who is interested in participating in tonight's cat race should come see me here at the main stage. Alrighty, let's display our items and hopefully make a lot of money because we are running quite low. Oh, uh, let's see, we've got some fans that we can sell. Now, what I love is we could sell anything, so really any of this is fair game. Um, we don't need the plushies anymore, so I think we actually can sell them. That's kind of nice. That set us up very well for the summer, because we did spend a lot of resources crafting these. Uh, let's see. Let's go about selling these wind-up toys. Ooh, the Hank the Hunt bag. Hunk bag is probably going to be a popular one. Again, I'm not looking to super min-max 262. Sure. First sale, you always want to go for it. Uh, 285, that's pretty solid. I think also, again, once my heart ratings are definitely high with everyone, I could probably push it further. But, like, I haven't really built up a relationship with Lily on the heart scale, so I'm going to keep it at 130. Ooh, fr Granny Franny. 130? 108? <sighs> I don't know. Can you do 119? That's a pretty steep discount. I'm willing to let you walk away. Ah, oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. And welcome, welcome. One Sakura fan. 232? Can you do 252? That's a deal. Heck yes. Uh, let's call customers. Nobody wants the wind-up toy. <laughs> Perfect plush Nico. Let's go for it. 120? I mean, you're a kid. 120 is still a hefty amount of change. Do you 127? Alright, people are being pretty agreeable with my bargaining today. Welcome, welcome. Perfect origami Nico. Awesome. Is that the last one, maybe? No, we are getting a lot of sales today. Uh, let's just get rid of it. Yeah, 34 is fine. <laughs> I just don't want those anymore. Uh, let's see. Let's call customers. Nobody wants the Hank tote. <laughs> but he's such a hunk. Whoa, we did really well. We almost got two levels today. Well, well, if it isn't the world's greatest entrepreneur. Thanks to vendors like you, word of the night market is really getting around. Keep up the great work, kid. The night market has leveled up to level four. Keep an eye out for upgrades next week. Oh, <laughs> I think that's a bug. Miyako's not supposed to be hanging around. Uh, let's see, we're gonna buy the gum for sure because we did not get a chance to finish that quest. Ooh, cute plushies, plush rabbit. Pokeshi Nico, oh, cute. Um, we've got... No new outfits today, sad. Some cool food that I have not purchased yet. We'll get the saffron rice balls. And rice ball on a stick. We don't currently have any tools or craft things to purchase, so I'm being a little bit more like willy-nilly with the spending. 
I also need to get a blind box. The octopole. Yeah, let's do it. It's your first day here. <laughs> Which one? Which one? Okay, didn't win the grand prize, but we did get a gold hairball. Nice. And... I think there is one more... Wasn't there one more? There's the de garbage of fire. I don't have any garbage, so I won't be able to do it, anything with you, unfortunately. I thought, where's the fishing booth? Ah, here we go. Okay. Try your luck for $50. Man, again, inflation is wild here. I wonder what kind of prizes we'll get. Fish or something else? <laughs> I caught a bottle. Oh, it must all be bottles. Hold on. Let me see if I can open it. Oh, I have four bottles, so there's no way. Well, that's okay. We know one of them's going to be a fun recipe from Gem Craft Bench. Oh, I don't have the Gem Craft Bench. I better keep start saving now. That'll be like 2400 I bet. Modi necklace. Got the punk bangles. I'm just opening them all now while we're here. And a cast iron teapot. The pottery. Oh my gosh. So we have at least two more craft benches that we'll be able to purchase. Um, I'm going to save money and not get a blind box because I have two. And let's get ready for the main event. I'm hoping that people aren't too much harder than they were in spring. <laughs> Granny Franny. Oh no. I bet you she means business. Two laps around the perimeter. Here we go. Granny is going to be coming for us. I feel this. Oh, yep. Oh, maybe not. Unless she's luring us into a false sense of security. Although, again, it bears reminding uh, that it's not good that she's participating because I think the only reason is Miyako is still missing. So really, maybe this is a hollow victory for me. Um... <laughs> I was kind of hoping it'd be a little bit more challenging on the second go around, like the next season, but perhaps, perhaps it comes later? I'm not sure. But yeah, I really, God, Granny Franny hasn't even showed up to the finish line yet. Oof. What a race we just witnessed. Okay. Why, I would say they're all winners. <laughs> <laughs> this is like last time. Oh, excuse me. Oh, wait. It looks like we have an actual winner. Phew. The winner of this super spectacular race of cat... Yeah, I forget what we called this thing. The winner of the race is Maneko. Crowd goes wild. Don't forget to join us again next week. Everyone, go home. We are done now. So I'm curious if the festival activities will repeat themselves or if we will have a little bit of variation again i think it would be really cool if upon each festival things got a little bit more challenging but i don't know if it just didn't do that because uh, again narratively maybe miyako wasn't here so it's like it doesn't quite make sense or if they all stay relatively straightforward from a completion standpoint it'd be nice to have all of the trophies and to know if it's relatively straightforward that's cool but I think from a challenge standpoint, I'd love to, I'd love to have a little bit more to just like get my competitive side going personally. All right. Also, I didn't realize, but we have all the flower uh, crafting recipes, which is really cool. Okie dokie, let's go to sleep. We don't have to water our magic toe bean because it is raining. I'm curious if we're going to be able to, now that the agents have gone, Maybe take a little time to search for Miyako. Ooh. Moonlight hang out with my buddy. <sighs> you really miss your home, don't you? Trust me, I know how you feel. We're gonna get you back home, okay? I promise. Oh. Oh, I want to teach you a song. Nico-chan. Nico-chan. 
Off to bed, you loaf of bread. My Nico-chan. Off to bed, you... Or off to bed, you loaf of bread. Nico-chan. It's an easy one. And you can even hum it or whistle it if you can't sing it. You try, Nico. Mm -hmm. Nico-chan. Off to bed, you loaf of bread. Nico-chan. <laughs> I told you it was simple. It's called Nico's Lullaby. It's your lullaby, Nico. It's a silly little song me and my dad made up together when I was really little. And growing up, anytime I felt scared or anxious or even angry, I would sing the song to help me keep keep myself calm. Love a little bit of emotional just regulation there. That's so cute. Oh, like when my dad told me we were leaving and I had to leave my home back on the mainland. I was really scared, just like you. I thought of all my friends I had to leave behind, all my favorite places, everything I've ever known. I think a lot of the times we let our thoughts spiral out of control. Whenever that happened, I would sing this song. Of course, it never fixes the problem completely. I still had to leave my home. I still had to say bye to all my friends. But it helps in that moment. And sometimes that's all we need. Whenever you're feeling scared or alone, just sing Nico's your lullaby, okay? Aww. Nico-chan. <laughs> Cute. Nico-chan. Doop, 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 doop. I love it. Again, it's I. we have these threads that I think are, are really interesting that kind of weave, weave in and out. You know, we have this, like, community, economic downturn plot line that I think is really interesting. Again, the question I asked earlier of, is it possible to do tourism sustainably? I don't know. Um, you know, is it possible, especially if we look at the way like globalization and capitalism works, is is it possible to, to do it? Because part of me wonders if it's an unavoidable thing that some Com or not companies, um, some villages may have to do. But again, it's an area that I don't really know a ton about, so I'd have to I'd have to sit and think on this. Because if if a village, for example, like this one in Mount Fuji, they've built their economy off of an event like the market, and they want people to come. I think there's something to respect there, even if you're like, ah, but tourism is bad. It's like, I think if there are ways that the community is inviting people in, perhaps maybe that could be a compromise. Like, I don't know. It's complicated, I feel. And again, it's not an area of my expertise, but it's what the game's getting me to think about. Uh, among, again, that's the high level for me, the highest level of story. And then you have this more personal story of Nico, um, Maneko and moving and what that means to like change where you live and how that feels to make a home out of somewhere that maybe isn't your home or doesn't feel like it. And then there's the story that is sort of the action story, which is like, there's a kid missing, agents are running around and we gotta get, you know, gotta get our friend home. So I like, I like that there are these big threads and I'm really hoping that there's payoff by the end, uh, with how they conclude. I should check to see how Nico is doing. Okay, talk to Nico in the backyard. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I know you're anxious to get back home, Nico. I promise I'm working hard on it. Oh, if you're getting bored in your little shed there, you can help me by running some errands. As long as you leave through the back and take the high roads, maybe you can help me gather resources from places I can't get to. Oh! Oh, that's nice. Okay, we can have a friend to help us. Um, let's see. Could you find some wood for me? That would be really helpful because we have a lot of wood that we need to collect. Um, at least a hundred pieces if I'm remembering correctly. That's not including our miscellaneous crafting. Uh, Dad doesn't want anything other than money. Um, I'm trying to think. So we've got wood. Oh! Mail? It's been a minute since we've had mail. Oh, the agents. Boo. Can we help you? Yeah, you want to be the next kid? 
Like, what the heck? That is so uncalled for. Like, what is an adult doing talking to a child like this? Listen, we're all worried for that missing little girl, but you can't harass townspeople like that. Thank you, market host. Hey, you Mugsy. Yeah, Bonesy. You know of a good ENT? An ear, nose, and throat doctor? Yeah, I do, Bonesy, but what fur, Bonesy? Mugsy, I, I think I may need to get these ears of mine checked out by a professional. Because I'm sure I didn't just hear what I thought I heard. What did you... Or, or what did you think you heard, Bonesy? What I think I heard... Was Mr. Market Man over here trying to tell us what to do? Now I'm sure that can't be right, is it, Mr. Market Man? Uh, uh cer certainly not. But when you start yelling at innocent children, I can't just let that slide. You know that little girl isn't here in the village, so why not skedaddle, fellas? You're right. There ain't nothing here in the village, so maybe we will skedaddle. Yeah, why don't we skedaddle all the way to the night market and have a talk, shall we? Fellas. <gasps> These agents are getting on my last nerve. If we could throw a Nico plushie at the back of their heads, I would right now. Oh my gosh. You know what? Market man raised up in my respect -o meter <laughs> I feel like I feel like I, I'd seen him only in the market in that location as someone who is just, you know, oh, I'm gonna be the host of this show and shenanigans. But when it came down to it, he was willing to s stand up for Maneko and say, hey, don't yell at a child. Uh, I, I respect him for that. Good job, market host. Uh, hey, hey, Manex. Hey, something wrong? I'm kind of really starting to get worried about Miyako. Yeah, I think we all are. No, I'm like really starting to worry. And, and I think it might, might be kind of sort of my, my fault-ish. Oh my gosh, Bobo, what did you do as the distraction? Because remember, Miyako's only missing because Bobo, well, we don't know why, but the last time we heard about Miyako was when Bobo distracted her so she wouldn't pay attention to our Nico hunt. So, or Nico search, not hunt. <laughs> sounds aggressive. So now I'm curious, what did Bobo do? <laughs> well, she was asking me what I know about this whole Nico thing and... Mm, well... I might have told her that Nico went out east. Out east? But she was all up in my face, like, what's with Nico? Who's Nico? Where were who Nico? 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 Like she does, you know? Yeah? So I, so I just told her, out east, go find him out east. You know, to get her off our back. And I think she actually headed out that way and now is lost out east. I know I messed up bad, Manex. We need to find her, dude. But what about the agents? You know they're not allowing anyone else to assist in the search. Hmm. I must have missed our last meeting of the Nico Mystery Hunter Solvers Limited, because I don't remember when we started listening to what those Jerkwad agents had to say. That is true. Look, there's got to be a way to make it out east. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe... Hmm. Oh, what about Hank? He must know of a way for us to progress eastward. Yeah, that whole us thing... I told my mom about this whole sort of thing from sending Miyako out east, and I'm like sort of grounded from leaving the village. No. Yeah, you're gonna have to do it alone. <laughs> if Bobo's mom knows this, why is she not leading the townspeople? Uh, adults having to follow the rules, probably. But I have a lot of work to do here. I'm starting to narrow down some theories on who could be in charge of this whole agent operation. Well, I'll go see if Hank has any ideas on how to get east. Oh, tell him I said yo. D d does he know who you are? Okay, Maneko, that's probably a silly question. It's a very small community. Yeah, of course. They call us Hank and Bobo the Hunks. Who's they? You know, people. People do. Whatever. We gotta find Miyako. Right, right. And I'll let you know what I uncover in my investigation. Peace outies. Okay. Nico needs to head east to get home to Mount Fugu, too. I should go check with Hank to see if he has any ideas. Flyer from Hank's tool store. Oh my gosh, more tools. Freshly stocked. And more craft. Oh god, craft benches. 
I was just thinking, hey, maybe I could splurge all my money. Nope, no go. But also, we do have a side quest we can fulfill. We can't make pretty paper yet, but we did make a cat purse. So this is really nice. We're almost at full hearts with Saki. This thing is awesome. Look at me, who wouldn't hire me now? Oh my gosh, I love that we can actually see the purse on Saki. Let me see if I have anything for you. Pug paper doll. You know, I always wanted to talk, I always talk about wanting to leave this place, but in all honesty, I would miss the heck out of my dorky brothers. And of course my mom. She's always supported me no matter what harebrained thing I was trying. So I guess sticking around and helping my family for a little bit isn't the end of the world. If you can help me one last time and find me a family wind sock that I can give to my family, that'd mean the world. I like that. You know, I think even though earlier I was kind of commenting on how I didn't feel super connected to each villager in terms of relationship, I think, I don't know, I take that back a little bit. I think even though it's not a focus of the game, uh, I am still looking at all of these villagers with fondness. I do like all of them, even though I get to getting to know them is different in this game than in other games. Um, again, I think the focus is this is a crafting game, a narrative crafting game, not necessarily a like s relationship sim. Uh, okay, what have we got? Oh my god, three! Art for 2400. We've got gem for 3600. And pottery for 40. Oh my gosh. The game is like, oh, you want to finish everything this season? No, that's not going to happen. Okay, well, <laughs> instead of that, let's see. We have no. I haven't seen any black ramen anywhere, which is also kind of interesting. I feel like I should have found some. Glad to see you here. I just received a new shipment of goods this morning. Um, do you know of a way east? <laughs> east? Of course. They're still allowing workers to travel east. If you've got a smelter, you'll have access to the metal cave. Anyone with a paper press should have access to the orchard. And I'm sure anyone with a shovel would be allowed to travel to the beach. I mean, you're not possibly considering buying these tools. Heading to those locations and disrupting the operations of more of those agent losers, are you? Of course not. Of course not. Well, browse around. Let me know if you're interested in purchasing something. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, shovel for 3000 Oh my gosh. Everything is so expensive. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> Okay, well, thank goodness um, we're getting some help from our dear friend Nico, because I... Oof. Because if we average, for example, I spent a bunch of money. Um, 825. I mean, let me sell a few things. But if we get even 1,000 each week from the market, that's still, like, not, not a ton. Now, I wonder... Hmm. The hoarder in me wants to save these flowers because I know eventually I'll use them. There's another part of me that's like, just sell them so you can get the money now. Sell the plush Nico. Uh, we'll sell the tote bag for 181. And let's sell all the tuna. Ugh, I don't know. Because we need the dye. That's the thing. No, we'll sell the tuna. That's okay. Uh, let's see, what else can we sell? What's good is we have a little bit of veggie juice. Juice. There's the gum. Oh yeah, we should give the gum to the, our friend before we uh, ruin it. Uh, we have the gemstone, but I want to save it because I figure those are probably going to be hard to get. So 2400 is the first craft bench we're aiming for. Oh my goodness. Alright. Well, let's give the gum to our friend here. Yay! This is the gum! You can really taste the essence of Speedo. Oh, here's something for you, too. Paper plane talisman. 
and they just announced an action figure, Speedo Agadu. Okay, so I'm looking for an action figure. So I asked Nico to get some wood. So I am going to go and get some paper. I think if we can craft a lot of games, that ended up being a pretty good selling point. A lot of people bought that last time. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> Back home and you're ready to see what Nico collected. Nine wood. All right, that's better than nothing. Uh, let's do. We got a bunch of paper. I'm going to continue with the wood search. I think. Thanks, Nico. Looks like this plot is already watered for the day. Even though I did send Nico to get more wood, I think. It's just definitely, uh, it's definitely not enough to just get nine. And so I drink a couple of veggie juices to get one heart back so I can help supplement this work. Because I think if we're only getting, what, 18? Let's say we average 18 a day additional wood. That's still going to take a long time to finish those houses. Now what's interesting is I took a quick look at my quest log and my journal. Alright, I think we can maybe pick up one more hairball. We don't have enough energy to... Oop. There we go, we should run back the other way. That's a long way and we don't want to take that much time. Uh, but yeah, I looked at my journal and there's still quite a few spots for villagers. And so I think, again... There's, there's a lot of folks we have not yet met uh, that will come through probably either as we get more spaces to move villagers in, like maybe other areas of the neighborhood will expand. Maybe once we go east, there's going to be another village on the side of the island, a different side of the island. I'm not sure. So I'm, I'm excited to see what more this game has to bring, especially as we've gotten really familiar with the loop itself. We've gotten pretty familiar with the characters. We're already getting almost five hearts out of five. So, 12 wood. Okay. So that was a little bit more this time. So we're not going out on the bus. Actually, let me see. Do I say just something like, Good night, Nico. Thanks for your help today. All right. I, th I like that there's a subtle cat purr when you talk to Nico. All right, so now we're coming up to Wednesday, I think. Nope, Monday. Oh my gosh. I, I in my head, thought we got so much further. All right, we're going to just hone in on collecting all the resources. Oh, darn it. I should have gone and talked to Nico. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> What? Did that cat just come out of the ground? Each cat will provide one hairball per day. Interact with own cats to pet or release them into the wild. You can buy additional magic toe beans from Ruby and grow more cats. Oh my god. Pet cat. Yes. I wanted my own cats and we have them. Okay, we have more wood that we need. So we're going to keep keep you on wood duty. Uh, oh my goodness. I want more magic cat toe beans. Goodbye, kitty. I feel like I should name it. It looks like my cat Scrambles, so I think I want to name that one Scrambles. No. What have we got going on? Oh, I love that you can see the bubble. I think that happened when we uh, provided the gum in the first place, but it's so fun to see it in, in the light of day. Okay, so... I'm gonna do the gardens, do a lot of flower picking. We have not done any flower picking, really. And it seems like maybe, just maybe, we can try selling the fish pond at the next market. I feel like maybe there's some opportunity there. We couldn't sell the windows, but maybe that's just because I didn't try hard enough. Maybe now people are looking at houses and Again, I don't know what to do with you. There's got to be peace around here somewhere. Is that peaceful for you? 
because again the hint is you said oh hold on maybe hold on maybe do i push the rocks into their proper spot does that give that does that does this give you peace hold on I was gonna make you a mini Zen garden myself, but perhaps this will do the trick. Hmm, that feels about, oh my gosh. Can't believe it took me this long to figure out. Whoa, whoa, wait. Did you arrange those garden rocks? It feels so, so right. <laughs> yes, this is it. I am Zen, er, this is the Zen, no, wait. Ugh, I'm so pumped, full of Zen, I could explode. Oh, uh, I guess we all have different definitions of Zen. Chaos is my zen. Nah, yes, there it is. My next great game idea will be the ring toss. <laughs> it's no fish smack, but it works. It sounds fun. I think so too. I think I'm actually gonna try to bring it to the night market this time. Hmm, I may need some supplies to put this thing together. About 24 pieces of wood should do it. Dang it, and you'll need 24 pieces for your house too? Or 25, I think. Listen, if you happen to come across... I'm gonna find the 24 pieces of wood for you, aren't I? Well, in the great words of whatever your name is. Sorry. But I promise it'll be worth your while. Fish Smack 3 will be the greatest thing to ever happen. I thought you were creating Ring Toss. Ring Toss will be the greatest thing to ever happen. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm glad we made it. That deserves a cat pet. Uh, we finally did the fourth person who was looking for, uh, some hope in life ahead with their future. I like that the theme, the moral to that story is, uh, Zen does look different for everyone. Inspiration can strike differently for everyone. Um, I am really curious as to how much, how much wood do I have? 75 pieces. I almost have enough for the current folks who are residing in the village. So I'll need 125. Again, I, that was the original ask for one of the folks. I think that was a bit of foreshadowing there. <laughs> Alrighty, I think I have picked all the flowers, got all the hairballs, so let's return home. I still have a little bit of energy, which is really cool. Um... So maybe what I'll do is, depending on how much wood Nico brought back, I may just go to the lumber place and finish that out today. Uh, 12 wood, awesome. So let's do one more. And that should finish out the initial request. And then we'll still need another 24 for the game designer, but that's okay. Ooh, now here's the thing. I don't have a full heart, so I wonder... Yeah, we might as well. Just try and get as much wood as possible. This is just our life now. I think out of the locations, my two favorite songs are definitely Dark Forest and The Docks. Uh, they both have a lot of personality to them that I really appreciate. I'm like, this is a song I would just listen to just on my own. All right, we were able to get 10 wood. We have no more energy. Actually, actually, we do have our rock and sushi, our rock and rolls. Let's eat them. I feel like they haven't shown up in the, what you call it, museum. Every time I've gone to donate, they're not on that list. So I think at this point, we're just going to call it and eat them so we can get at least a little bit more resources on this outing. So I think if we are able to get, yeah, I definitely think we'll be able to meet all of the wood desires of everyone in the village. Oh. It's one of those, how many times have I said the word wood in this 
uh, in this video. Oh, am I too tired? Yep, too tired to chop. Okay, we'll just collect hairballs and be on our way back home. Time for a final check with Nico before we go to sleep. We received 12 wood, which brings our total to 129. Wonderful. Again, I think, what did we need? I forget. Uh, we can't do anything because it's night. Again, I kind of wish... It, it does continue to feel like night is the time of day that doesn't make the most sense compared to the other two. Like, excuse me, sneezed. I think from a strategic standpoint, it's kind of nice to have that period where I'm like, I know I can't go out anywhere, no one's around, and kind of think about what I'm going to do, but I'd almost rather have an extra foraging time, like we have morning, afternoon, night, uh, but I can also see with the night market structure after night, like, do you come back out in the same time? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like that extra time of day I wish I could use it more versus just having it be kind of a cooldown period. The more I play, I think initially I wasn't so, uh, I, not bothered. That's not the right word. I was, I, my attention wasn't called to it so much, but more and more as I play, I'm like, oh, there's that extra time of day where I get back and I go to sleep, but I always kind of feel like I should do something and I'm not sure what. Okay. Let me check if I can put the fried rice ball or the saffron rice in here. Yeah. Maybe I should have been able to put in the... <laughs> the rockin' sushi. I don't know. Maybe that was uh, an error on my part. Maybe I missed it. <laughs> what I am so excited for is to be able to go to Japan. I'm going to Japan for the first time this year, and I cannot wait to uh, experience some of the street food there. Have I dropped? I don't think I've dropped off the rainbow trout, so let me actually do that right now as well. Let me in! Okay, there we go. I have a donation to make, I think. Oh, oh, hello, sea bunny! I did not know I didn't donate you yet. Seven more donations, I guess. I bet you we could get that next season. Especially if I fish as much as I have been fishing. Yay! Six more donations to open. We haven't gone fishing at a lake in a little bit, so that may be worthwhile to fish somewhere that we that we haven't yet. But before fishing, we gotta deliver all of these parcels of wood. Okie dokie. Gift 25 wood. And I bet you tomorrow, hopefully we'll have a ha- Oh, today! You are a fast builder! My goodness. Oh, that's almost like a real realistic house. I don't got much, but let's see what I got for you. Fancy dishware. Awesome. Hey, did you know it takes 25 papers to build walls around a house? Oh my gosh. All right, so we have 25 paper. We can gift it. Uh, like, I could just have these? That's pretty cool. Having walls is gonna be a game changer in this world of home ownership. <laughs> Mentally prepping for all- Oh, that's such a cute house! Oh my gosh. Oh, that's my house. I've never seen such beauty. Don't got much, but let's see what I got for you. Alright, so we're gonna have a lot. Catfish Taiyaki. Okay, so after we do paper, then the house requests will be done. Oh, I don't think I have enough paper for everyone, so we're gonna have to make that our next focus. I'm excited to see what everyone's houses look like, though. I think the, uh, the customization or the personalization of every house is really, really cool. Not simply with these characters, but with some of the other villagers as well. That's a giant zipper on the tent. I don't think I've noticed that before. <laughs> All right. Uh, she awaits a reward, the cat ring holder. Perfect. And you will say the same thing. You want 
You want paper. Okay, so we need 75 paper if we're counting the person that we haven't helped with their house yet. So let's do Birch Forest. <laughs> Go get some paper. <gasps> I think I forgot to send Nico. Shoot. Dang it. Gotta put an alarm for myself to remember that. So let's let's get as much paper as we possibly can, and uh, yeah, see see how we do. We now have 50 paper. We are so close to finishing and completing our entire paper quest. But we should be able to get the remainder of the folks who are at least hanging out in our neighborhood, which is really nice. And then I can send Nico out to get some paper as well. So let's go finish this quest off. All right, make it worth my while. Let's see, what have you got for me? <laughs> All 25 papers are here. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's a very cute house too. Now we are getting, I love the planters hanging upside down, kind of like the octopus pull game that Itao hosts at the market. That's really cute. And I finally learned the yokai face zipper pouch, which means we can finally complete the quest for our friend once we have all of the supplies crafted. Oh, heck yes. Whoa, that's so cool. Please accept this from me. Cat sculpture. I love it. Okay, so recycling box. Yes. These are more octo candy. Okay, so more standard type of requests, which is good. Now let's go talk to Nico, not forget to send Nico on a mission. And then, golly, I'm gonna have to figure out after we get paper. Ooh, yes, too tired to pick up a hairball, shoot. Uh, what kind of other quests we can go for? Now here's the thing, do I have any food I can eat? No food. Well, shucks. Um, perhaps I'll sell some of the fish. I'm looking and, and I'm in a little bit of a dire strait with crafting. I suppose, ooh, I don't have that mineral or that ore, it looks like. Um, let's do some fish squeezing, I suppose. I think that'll help us get some crafts going. Oh, we can't squeeze the catfish. Okay, that's good to know. Can't squeeze the shrimp. We can squeeze the urchin. This will allow us to make a couple of Hank tote bags, which weren't so hot last week, but maybe maybe I'll put them front <laughs> in, in the market this time. Uh, let's squeeze this red snapper. And... The urchin is already squeezed. Got a lot of squeezed fish. Okay. Nice. So let's see what we can craft. Oh. Let's do... Let's do Hank the Hunk tote bag and a cat purse. And then if we have enough, plush Nico. Ooh. Any one of you really enjoys sewing in real life? Let me know some of your tips for real sewing. I've always been really intrigued by a sewing machine, but I've always also been very scared of using a sewing machine. Okay, I think the trick to this is not going too fast. That seems to be the key to getting the perfects of all of these. Mm. Okay, we can't build another cat purse. Uh, I'm gonna do another Hank the Hunk tote bag, only because it takes more supplies, so I feel like maybe it m might be worth more. <laughs> oh no, I lost it at the end there. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Okay, last project. Oh, dang. Out of fur. Do I have any wood? Maybe I can make some planter boxes? Uh, I'll, I'll save it. I, I want to save. Resources are so scarce. I feel like it's important to just hang on to what you can. Um, let's sell our fish that we have squeezed as well as the fish that we can't otherwise sell and maybe get a snack and try to do a little bit more foraging. Let me get the truffle ramen. It's only 80. I think it only uh, gets one heart, but that should be enough to at least get us going and doing a little bit of foraging elsewhere. Cat farm costs money. <laughs> Let's go to the dock. I think that'll be a little bit nicer. Fish are pretty profitable and it seems like we're evolving. What's kind of interesting is Mineko is doing what I sort of do, where it's like you get one craft, you hone in on it, and you're like, oh, I love this. I'm going to do this so long. Then you get a different craft. You're like, ooh, but actually, maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll focus on this instead. And I think Mineko um, resonates with me as a character because I am the person who also just hops from craft to craft, uh, which is which is fun. Because we are doing less of the flower bouquet stuff now. But we're doing a lot more sewing. And last season, or at the end of last season, we did a lot more like wood crafting. So I think it kind of balances out because we're doing a lot of flower collecting. We're not really using any of them and probably won't until spring, I imagine. So when spring comes, we'll be able to make some of the higher tier items for the market. I'd love to get a red snapper, just because it'd be really cute to have a plush on sale at the market. I think that would just be nice diversifying, you know, diversifying the portfolio. <laughs> I should probably try fishing somewhere else, though. I just realized I mentioned that when I was depositing and donating to the fish museum. Completely forgot to actually make a different choice. So... We'll have to do that next time when we go fishing, because I think the freshwater lake will have some slightly different options. Like, I know they had the lobster there in the spring, and that was not available. Or at least I didn't catch any in the ocean in the spring. So, let's leave some room for hairballs. I think I should be able to get most of them, if not all. Oh, close, but no. All right, pretty good. So time to go check on what Nika was able to do in terms of gathering paper. And maybe I should check on my Zen friend because, oh, that's right. I was supposed to get the wood to her. Totally forgot. I will do that tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, why hasn't she moved in yet? Because I didn't actually finish that quest. So let me. See if you've got paper. Good, good, good. Sorry, I forgot the cat gave me a hairball, but that's all right. Time to go to bed. I will not forget <laughs> to send Nico out and to pick up my hairball. Uh, doo -doo -doo. See what you can find. Let's do... Hold on. Never mind. Let me check really fast. I have some rocks. I have enough wood. So let's go with paper. Yeah, let's go with paper. Again, I'm not going to focus on flowers because that's going to serve me a little bit better in the next season. I wish Nico could find hairballs. That would that would be really nice. But alas. I am here to deliver some wood. Any luck finding that wood? Yes. You're the best. I'll make sure you can always skip the line at ring toss. Well, I don't have a lot to give you in return, but maybe you can use these. <gasps> the family windsock recipe, the mailbox recipe, and a sushi to go. Oh my gosh. Anyone who gives me a food, champion in my book. Can't wait to see people lined up at my booth. Although, the commute from the mainland to the night market every week is going to be grueling. You know what? I'm going to do it. Yes. 
Yes, I'm doing it. I'm moving into the village. That's the exact change I need in my life right now. Thanks so much for all your help. We're gonna be neighbors, buddy. <laughs> Heck yes. All right, let's do, oh, let's focus on the cat hair because that's gonna help us with crafting. And, whoops, didn't mean to grab the flower. That's all right though. I'm hoping Mineko, or <laughs> Nico brings enough flour or paper that I can doo -doo -doo, complete the house and pretty much be done with that arc, I suppose. The arc of helping villagers build their homes, at least for the time being. I don't know if I want to go all out on the hairballs, or... I, I, I think if I pick up all the hairballs I see, I should be down to one heart, so that's okay. Again, avoiding flowers, trying to be strategic a little bit about this. Oh, no, there it goes. So we'll return home, and then we'll have to craft up a storm, get ready for the market, because we're almost there. Ooh, let me talk to Nico first, actually, because if we have enough paper, that should save me one trip. If not, didn't save me any time anyways, but... Ten paper. Ooh! I think I need literally one more paper. I think 25 was the number needed for that quest, so... But here we go. Let's give it a try. I moved here. It just seems so peaceful here, and you mentioned they were welcoming new people, and ah, I just had to. I'm still getting set up and everything, but yeah, I'm super happy to be here. All right, here's the 25 wood, so you can get out of the tent. <laughs> just call me Tom Nook. <laughs> I'm just here building everyone's houses. Oh my goodness. All I feel like is, I feel like all I ever do is ask you for wood, but I promise I won't ask for any more wood. But come talk to me if you're up for helping me get my house in ship shapes more. Shapes more. Ooh, boyfriend pillow. It's okay, we're finally getting the the stuff to finish out some of the requests we've had for so long. And yep, we needed 25 paper. Shoot. Alright, we're gonna get that paper <laughs> and we'll finish this next uh next day. I know I kind of ragged on the on the cat farm initially, but I think it's maybe my favorite place, even though it costs $50, uh, simply because it's just fun to have a time limit and just to run around and collect things. Uh, I wonder if it's possible to do more than 21. Maybe for strategic. Like, you only get stuff that's, like, no more than five steps apart. I'm gonna try. I'm trying to just create a constellation here. <laughs> Ooh, a bunch of these are super close. This is kind of like Fall Guys, except, dang it, I think I... I think I messed myself up because I created a huge gap right there. Ah, no! Shucks. Okay. I'm gonna try. I don't think I beat my record. No, I'm too tired to pick up. <sighs> okay, so I'm testing this. It does pause. I have 11 seconds. Do I want to spend it? No, that sushi is one whole heart. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Next time I'll come with two hearts, really maximize that time. Shucks, I feel so embarrassed. I didn't even think about my stamina. Dang it. Hey, 27 hairballs, though. That's pretty good. Better than before, that's for sure. Okay, Nico probably got the remainder of the paper. Just six. Ooh, a little bit lower than I anticipated. And, uh, whew. We're making progress. We have just gotten a bunch of recipes as well, so what I'm gonna do is after giving out the paper, just so I don't accidentally take into account. I'm going to take a look and see what it will take to craft some of these things, because quite a few of them are items I've been asked to 
to get from nearly the start of the game. Wow, wow, wow. 25 papers, I have that. Oh, thanks, let's get this up immediately. Ooh, very cool. It's a house and it's my house. Wait up, here's something for you. You learned the magic cape recipe for the sewing craft bench. Magic cape. All right, I see a couple, like this feels like maybe it could be another plot. I don't know, am I, am I imagining things? I feel like maybe we could get one more house in here. But maybe that's me. Let me go, I can't believe I almost forgot again. Uh, I need to go get Nico a task for today. I need to pick up my one free hairball. And uh, let's see. I think we'll go with wood. We'll go with lum lumber, thumb, thumb lumber. And I will, I am frazzled today, friends. It's almost night market time. I'm just excited. What can I say? Um. <laughs> so we need two pink. I wonder if I need to squeeze the jellyfish for pink. We need, I forgot, Bobo's mom wants flower apron. Oh, I have to sneeze. Ooh, and we've got the windsock, so we need a lot of different dye, so perhaps my time will be better spent fishing. It looks like this rainbow dye, I think that's from Rainbow Trout. Oh my goodness, okay, so fishing is gonna have to be the focus. We still don't know how to get like nice, pretty paper, pretty patterned paper. And flowers, again, can't really do much with those at this point in time. Wood? Mm. Yeah. Okay, so fishing it is. That's going to be our focus for the next couple of days. I'm probably going to just speed on through because it's not going to be very exciting. Again, I try to balance between keeping some elements of me, uh, what you call it, of me doing the foraging because I think it's relaxing, but also this is going to be a longer video anyway, and uh, the foraging takes up a good chunk of time. <laughs> so I think what I'll do is, yeah, fast forward through the foraging till we get to crafting for the night market. We have finally made it. It is night market day. Uh, I really just spent the last two days just honing in on my strategy for foraging. What I think what has worked for me at least, is having Nico take on finding just wood, and I have been taking on paper and rocks and kind of just switching between the two and as well as fishing. So I have focused primarily on paper. I think today I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do rocks today. And because remember for market days, we only get to go out once before the market happens. So I'm going to go out, get some rocks, and I have a rainbow trout, so I do have some crafting that I could do that potentially could solve up some of the side quests, but I'm going to wait for the market to be done and then do those. I think I mentioned the docks and the dark forest were two of my favorite musical spots. I think if I had to pick a third, ooh, a tiger's eye, that's cool. If I had to pick a third place, I think this would be it for me thus far. It's a little bit more sort of ambient sound, less like kind of overtly a music track, you know, with a th that I would listen to just to listen to music, but it's one that I would listen to to have in the background and just be able to focus which is a really, really good thing. I like that in a song. Whereas like the docks, I feel like is like a song to listen to a bit more because it's a bit more active in a weird way. Let's see, okay, good. I wanted to save, or no, do I not? I'll grab some hairballs just to make sure we have enough to craft for the fair, for the night market. I, don't think any of the activities in the night market take energy. Even the games, like the fishing game. 
I'm remembering correctly, it doesn't. And because we cannot go anywhere else, I'm gonna just pick these flowers and just pick flowers at home to try and use up my energy. All right, yep, let's go on home. And Nico should be back with a few more supplies and we're gonna do just a bunch of crafting. Whoo! Okie dokie, so it is time to do some crafting. We are on night market day. I have enough for the family windsock, which is great because we can actually complete one of our side quests with Saki, Bobo's sister, and actually get her to... Ooh. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, but we can, oh, hey, there we go. But we can finish that side quest. Uh, oh, we're being visited by my cat, Rosie. Correction, she wants to sit in my lap, but she also wants to be on the keyboard. So she's having a little bit of trouble deciding where she wants to be. Okay, Rosie, if you can sit in my lap, you can hang out with us. All right, my cat did not know what she wanted to do, and I didn't want to force her to hang out, so. Uh, we're gonna keep a going now We made the windsock. We didn't get any red snappers uh, So we can't do the flower apron and the plush Nico I'm gonna be saving this for the flower apron just because the plush Nikos aren't required for a quest and the flower apron is So let's go into our paper crafting because that's where I think we're actually gonna be making some money during this festival now, I am pretty sure that even though the items themselves aren't going to be different because my relationship with folks is a little stronger, I, I think we may be able to charge a little bit more money. We'll see. Again, I think there's sort of a weird dissonance in being like, oh, because we're closer, I can charge them more, when in reality, I think it would be the opposite. Uh, <laughs> but that's okay. Again, it, it is, tis a game. I'm willing to, to go with the flow there. And conversely, I mean, I could hear maybe some friends saying, no, I would absolutely pay you what you deserve for the labor you put into these things. So actually I could, I could hear it the other way where it's like, if you're close with someone, maybe you wouldn't want to charge them, but they would want to pay you what your craft is worth. I think that's also worthwhile to th perhaps frame it that way as well if you're wanting to be a bit more gracious. Okie dokie. I think we may have enough for one more. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, what was interesting, I think last market, we almost ran out of stuff. We became, we came very close. So let me check where I'm at right now. We have, I could try and sell the fish pond, uh, as well as these, uh, what are called boximals. But we have, hmm, we have a card game, sakura fan, a cat purse, the windsock we're gonna donate, Hank. So we have four items. I can sell the box moles, I'll try, so that's five, six. Okay, you know what? I think we're okay for market. Let's, let's go ahead with that. Let's finish up our side quest. And I think, I forget if it was day or night already. I think it might be night. I feel like we should be able to find Saki down this way. Please be out. Oh, well, shucks. We will have to complete that quest another day, but tonight we celebrate. It is night market night. I'm curious because this is now the second night market of the summer. What, what festival activity we'll be doing? Is it another flower moment? Are we gonna do a flower hunt? Um, is it another play perhaps? If so, will it be a different story? I'm very curious. Due to the increasing popularity of the night market, it has been upgraded. More decor, yes, I love it. And we have a new booth. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. 
two new booths. We have a ring toss and an unknown. Welcome, welcome to the second night market of summer. Remember, market host... We stand market host now because uh, he actually stood up for me against the agents. I respect that. This week's night market main event is the Mount Fugu play. Let's do this. I will watch. Make sure to stop by the stage before the end of the night to catch the Mount Fugu play. I can't wait to see this. I could wait, but that takes nothing away from my excitement for this event. <laughs> now go. Shop, eat, play, enjoy. Anyone who's interested in participating, come see me. Cool, 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 cool. All right, here we go. Display items. We, are, we can display seven. Uh, let's see what we can do. All right, Hank the Tote. We are going to put two of you up front. Try and catch the eye of some folks. We'll put the cat purse, the perfect cat purse next door. And um, we're not going to sell the windsock. We've got... Oh, I think my cat wants to be let out. Speaking of perfect cats, so let me do that really fast. Okie dokie, I am back and ready. Ready to figure out what to sell. Um, we have some crab. This golden box, I feel like is so rare. I'm really hesitant to sell it. So let's see what we can get for the crabs and the urchins. I think that's probably a good choice. And we have a lobster. We have... Hmm, We've gotten this bunny a couple of times. I think we also have a couple wind-up fish. Yeah, let's sell the wind-up fish. We're not we're not a fan of these toys. Okay. This is pretty decent showing, I think. Come one, come all. We are open for business. One Sakura fan. Let's sell, sell, sell. Oh, back for more. Will you will you pay more? Oh, you will. Oh, jeez. All right. That's good, good, good. Bobo's mom. Bobo's mom has been finicky before. Because we're only at two hearts. So I think... You need 190? Yes. Okay, we have six out of seven. One Sakura fan. I'm trying to be not too pushy with the folks who I haven't been able to really get... To, relationship with 199 yes awesome we are well on our way to buying our next upgrade let's call customers one card game mm, let's try 231 I only got 173 sure that's fine I like you kid <laughs> all right we're not gonna be upcharging them because we have done, like, nothing for them. They, they're still at zero hearts, I think. Mo. Whoa, you... This kid really likes me. Okay. Was that it? Ooh, okay. So let's see if we can really push this. Can we go to 284? I could have pushed it one more. I should have done it. I should have done it. Okay. We're up to 3,000. We have leveled up the market once again. Awesome. And now it is time to do the play. Wait, nope, but first. But first. Let us... Wait, is that black ramen? Oh, black jelly beans, darn it. Um, we've got some cute plushies there. I'm gonna buy some specialty foods, like the catfish taiyaki. I'm just gonna do one. I think there might be a glitch. There haven't been any outfits in there, and I, I think there were supposed to be two in the spring, unless there aren't any summer outfits. Okay, we'll do a ring toss, because it's your first time. Oh. Oh. Cool. A matcha latte. Oh, fun. For 50? That's a pretty good deal. I think that's $30 off. I thought they were about 80. <gasps> Ooh. The kudzu flower. Oh, and look, we can get the sakura flower from here, too. All right, well, I'm going to save. The kudzu flower seems like a fall flower, maybe. So I'm going to hang tight. Oh, that was so sweet. Um, saving my money today because, again, we're, we've got some goals. We've got some purchases we want to make. So let's do the play. We won't worry about... Ugh, should I get a blind box? Well, it's too late now, I think. <laughs> Next time. A long time ago, in the town of Fugu lived a farmer and his daughter, Mari. 
One day, the two of them ventured out into the woods to look for, well, wood. <laughs> oh, hey, Hannah, I mean, Mari. We better gather some wood for the thing. Yes, wood for the thing. Why don't I gather some wood here while you go somewhere else to look for wood? Sounds good, uh, father. <laughs> I'm sure nothing will go wrong. But little did they know, things were about to go wronger before things got brighter. In fact, hours passed with no sign of the farmer's daughter in sight. Uh-oh, where did my daughter go? Daughter, daughter. Oh man, look at that cardboard moon. It must be nighttime now. I will go back into town and get some help to find that kid. <laughs> so the farmer made the trek back to Fugu without his daughter. There, he called on the great Nico for his assistance, who had been living in the village. That's me, <laughs> it's a me, Nico. Hey, great Nico, I need help with a thing. But the great Nico already knew what was wrong. For you see, as the sworn protector of the people of Fugu, he had the ability to sense danger. <laughs> Your daughter went missing. Oh, heck yeah, that's the right line. We went out into the woods to look for wood, and now she might be wood. I mean, she might be lost. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. We better find her. Yeah, total agreement. The two of them ventured out into the woods, but it seemed hopeless. The woods of Fugu were thought to be some of the deepest and puzzliest woods in all the world. Jeez, these woods are deep. And puzzly. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love, <laughs> I love her peeking out. You can see the little bun. It's like, that's what kids always do. And adults, you know, if you're if you're excited about being next and not wanting to miss your line, uh, <laughs> just peeking out behind the curtains. The two of them shouted for the daughter as loud as they possibly could. Oh shoot, Mari, right? Mari, but to no avail. Man, there is no avail. The deeper they proceeded into the woods, the colder the woods became, until the two of them made it into the center of the forest, in a snowy clearing. There, they met a peculiar snow monkey. <laughs> Whoa, who are you? I'm a peculiar snow monkey. Hey, peculiar snow monkey, what are you doing out in the middle of the woods? I am a peculiar snow monkey. No, your other line. Oh, I, uh, I keep the, I am the keeper of the woods. Oh, neat. Have you seen my daughter out here? I will guide her to you if you answer my riddle. Oh, it's a riddle giving peculiar monkey. What's your riddle? What's really tall, like even taller than trees, but, uh, doesn't, it doesn't grow? Mm, a giraffe, a giraffe with another giraffe? A mountain? Yeah, you're right. Now I will reveal the direction she went. She went that way. <laughs> it's kind of weird that you wouldn't just tell us that without the whole real thing, but thanks. But I should warn you, it's hopeless. The woods are too vast to find that kid. Just then, Nico had an idea. I have an idea. Nico raised his hands to the skies. All of a sudden, they felt a rumble from the ground. <gasps> In an instant, a mountain grew up from the ground right where they were standing. Whoa, Nico, did you make this mountain? Yep. Neat. Uh, <laughs> I thought we could take a skiing break. Well, we should be able to find her from this height. Hey, I see her. From this height, I'm able to see far away, and I see her. Oh yeah, she's down there huddled by the river looking all cold and junk. Good job, Nico. No worries. 10 out of 10 riding for this play. Mari, my daughter, you're alive. Father, is it really you? How did you find me? I was all lost in junk. Did you hear the rumbling noise a minute ago? Yeah, what was that? 
It was this whole thing, like Nico made a mountain and everything. Whoa, neat. Thanks for finding me, father, and Nico. And from then on, the people of the village were forever watched by Nico from atop. The Great Mount Fugu, the end. Oh, wow. What a phenomenal play. Take a bow, kids. Oh, whoa. Fantastic, fantastic. Don't forget to come back next week for the Lantern Lighting Festival. Ooh. You can all leave now. Yes, our second trophy. We are on a winning streak. I love it. I am ready for more. I'm ready to collect the whole year of trophies. We are now level five. Look at that glowing five. Ooh, we have made $6,000. That's pretty cool. I am excited to see what happens next. Now, I was hoping we would get through all of summer in one video, but I think just for the sake, because this is getting pretty long, pretty hefty, uh, we're gonna, or at least long for me, I'm gonna try and edit it down a little bit, but I think it'll still be a longer video. Um, but we're gonna finish up summer in the next video. Poor Miyako has been lost for weeks now. I feel like the adults should be a little bit more concerned than they are. Uh, but, you know, what, who am I but a kid? What's, what's to say, you know, who's to say? Um, but yeah, that's it for today. If you are enjoying this playthrough, please let me know in the comments, hit the like button, uh, and consider following the channel. And if you'd like to hang out with me, I really enjoy covering a variety of indie games, but particularly ones that have thoughtful narratives, unique genre blends, and generally cozy vibes like this one. So you can find me on TikTok and Twitch, uh, and just I do similar things on both of those places as well. And finally, if you would like to play a game with a community over the span of a month and talk about how you enjoy it, but also talk about how it connects to maybe yourself and the world around us, check out geeksandgrounds.com. Geeks uh, that is the monthly game club that I founded and I co-host with my friend Joel. We spend a month deep, deep diving into a game and then talking about it as a community. The hubs are... A newsletter. I send out a weekly newsletter that has fun resources and things that help expand how you think about the game potentially, and most I'd like to think certainly. Uh, and we also have a podcast and a Discord, so definitely check it out. You can find everything you need to know at geeksandgrounds.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Bye!